What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Nice to meet you. Subscribe down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. If you guys don't know, I'm a college student. I'm a sophomore at the University of Georgia. And, uh, well, as I'm filming this, it is midterms week. So, a little stressed, a little nervous, a little tired. There's just, there's just things going on in my life. I'm so excited because this video is sponsored by 5 Hour Tea. I'm beyond excited. I will be talking about them in a little bit, but I will have the link down below. Basically, they're the company that owns 5 Hour Energy, which is totally up my alley, so I was really honored when they contacted me because it's perfect for my brand in this video. Anyways, I thought it was very appropriate to film a video kind of talking about how to manage stress in, stress in college, how to be efficient, because it is there's a fine line between stress and being overwhelmed, but then also trying to stay balanced and stay well rested, stay energetic and get things done in a timely manner. So I totally understand it and I can't believe I haven't really filmed a video like this yet being in college. So I've acquired some tips. I wrote down, I actually went and found this article um, on Forbes actually giving some like really good tips because obviously I have my own tips but I do like to get information online so I can like truly help you guys and give you guys a better idea. But these are things that I really think are important. Just some tips I have for you guys on how to manage stress in college. So without further ado, let's get started. My first tip is honestly very important and it's something as a college student is very hard to do. Get enough sleep. I am not kidding. It may be very tempting to go to bed at 2, 3, 4 a.m. because you're like, eh, like it's college. Like, if I need to skip class, I can. Don't go in with that mindset, especially if you have an 8 a.m. class, which also don't suggest doing 8 a.m.s because 8 a.m.s in college are like 6 a.m.s, it feels like. 9 a.m.s are like 8 a.m.s to me at this point. Like, it's just insane. But, anyways, it's not a good idea. Like, sometimes, literally last night, I stayed up late, even though I knew I had to wake up at 8 a.m. this morning. Like, not not proud of that like I'm not saying I follow these to a T but I am saying it, it's very helpful and definitely makes a difference if you can even get into bed by 1130 you're doing well dog even just before 12 honestly in my books because getting a good amount of sleep is so beneficial for you in the wrong run, long run I even find that if I don't get enough sleep especially a few days in a row like I, I just get sick not because I'm you know by germs or anything it's literally from just not getting enough sleep and your body doesn't have enough time to rest and recharge this quote from forbes says winging it on not much sleep has a profound effect on how we experience the stressors of the day forbes says so just remember that my next tip is to eat well so get enough sleep and then also eat well just having a diet of fast food and vending machines, which was totally my diet freshman year, like legit, I would just always get cheese it's because I was like hungry and I just needed something fast. It can actually decrease the energy levels in your body, which is no bueno, which also leads to a lower threshold for stress, which is not good. So basically, like if you're just eating constant fast food, you're just wanting more of it and you keep thinking like to have more of it, you'll feel better. Because for me, I even know if I eat a lot of carbs, like I feel good for like 10 minutes and then 20 minutes later I'm like uh, I'm like slumped I'm in a food coma and then you don't want to study and then you sit there and you just start falling asleep and you're just game over so you want to eat foods that kind of keep a more stable um, energy for you throughout the day speaking of energy let's be real in college we all are looking for easy ways to kind of wake up faster <laughs> so I recently discovered five hour tea they have three different cute little flavors you've got raspberry tea peach tea and lemonade tea. I love it that it's tea themed because I don't know, I just think that's so fun. These guys right here are an easy way to stay energized throughout the day and conquer your day, which is something that I've been needing to do today, aka why I drank this already. I haven't finished it, but we're just gonna, bottoms up guys. I told you it was really good. Dude, you're gonna have to try this later. It's really good. But um, yeah, I just kind of finished that guy off. But really, really delicious, which is nice because I was nervous. I was like, is it even gonna taste good? So, but you get to try it. There's so many different flavors. So if you're not into raspberry, they've got a lemon one. They've got a peach tea one. So for my Southern peach tea girls, this one's for you. So like I said, it is by the makers of Five Hour Energy. However, this one is made with green tea leaves. If you guys watch my vlogs, I drink green tea a lot in the morning. So that's why I was really happy to see this because this is something you can easily throw in your backpack, aka what I do, and just kind of bring it along your day, drink it. You can drink it down right away or maybe sip it over like a couple 30 minutes, whatever you want to do. But I'm just so impressed with this and the energy that it gives me and it allows me to conquer my day and kind of, it doesn't like make you more stressed. So yeah, that would be my next tip is just to check out 5 Hour Tea if you want some energy throughout your day, that's like the perfect alternative for you. I will have a link down below. Next up is exercise. This is something that I have to remind myself about all the time. Yesterday, I was not in the mood to work out at all, but I had scheduled myself an Orange Theory class that night, and I was just like, ugh, but you can't cancel because they charge you $12, and I was like, ugh, just go. 
I felt like a thousand bucks after every time I go work out I feel better afterwards it seriously like when you're stressed moving around might feel like the last thing you want to do you just want to like sit there and cry basically but as little of 10 minutes of physical activity every day can seriously change your life and it just you release endorphins it puts you in a better mood and for some reason for me if I get my heart rate going faster and I feel like I'm working out then I don't know why but I want to sit and just work 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 it's weird I don't know why but it's like scientifically proven and all my friends agree so there you go. As for what type of exercise, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to go do orange theory. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to go do spin class. Do something that actually makes you happy. Do an exercise that you like. Try out different things until you find something. If you're kind of totally lost, I suggest doing a workout class to begin with. I love spin, but some of my friends don't, so they do CrossFit. Or sometimes people just wanna be more independent. They just go to the gym and run on the treadmill for 30 minutes and listen to a podcast. Whatever you can do to just kind of get your day going, whether you do it in the morning or you do it at night. For me, I don't know why I prefer working out at night because I can kind of run off all the stress from the day and then I can go back and do more homework that night because I get a lot of work done in the morning but then I get more in the I don't know how to explain it anyways find the time that's best for you and find the time to work out each day I'm not saying I work out every day but when I do work out I get more I'm more productive that day my next tip this is just something to remind you. When you're at college, you're basically your own parent. Your mom or dad or, or guardian is not there to tell you to get out of bed in the morning. Your mom's not there to say, sweetie, you've been up all day and all night. Like, you need to go to bed now. Like, I'll make you some soup. Like, they're just they're just not there. Which, it's just like a part of growing up. And it's like so exciting because you can be independent and everything. But it's also something to keep in mind. So, something that I had to learn was how to say no for myself. Like, I'm sure you guys can agree. In high school, I'd be like, oh, like, my mom said I couldn't go. Sorry when in reality I just use that as an excuse because I was really stressed and I just couldn't say no for myself but you just have to learn how to say no to things especially when it comes to social events and stuff like that like everyone I talk about this all the time but I just don't think it's stressed enough like everyone is on their own time everyone has their own calendar and there's gonna be times where you say yes to a social thing that your friends can't go to and then you know they're getting their work done but then another time they're gonna go and you can not that's okay everyone is on their own timeline and that's what you have to remember you can't compare yourself because that's when you get stressed and we're trying to avoid stress in this video <laughs> Another tip, essential oils, you guys know I love them. Eucalyptus and lavender are my two favorites. Peppermint is also great when I'm trying to like get focused because sometimes you know you sit down and you're like you want to do everything else but study or do your homework. So that's, I don't know, for peppermint for me, if I like put it on my temples, it kind of wakes me up and revives me again and that's just like a simple way to wake yourself up and kind of calm your stress, especially lavender. Sometimes I just need to put a little oil on my wrists or under my nose and just breathe in and there's something about having a scent to breathe in but you know it's not gonna like harm your you with chemicals that just feels good and allows you to breathe more because something actually smells good the next tip is to plan leisure activities to break up your schedule and by that I mean like for example today today is a crazy day I literally if you look at my Google Calendar it's like back to back to back like literally Callie's here right now helping me feel after she leaves I have a call at 3 30 like I have something planned at the every hour but in between the things, I make sure to do something that like makes me feel good. So when Callie first got here, we sat and talked about life. We had basically a little therapy session and it felt really good and then we got to work. After she leaves, I have 30 minutes. I'm just gonna hang out, maybe watch a YouTube video, listen to some music, just veg out, do my call. After my call, I'm going to a spin class, which is gonna be great because then I can get some exercise off. After my spin class, I'm going straight to take a test. So it's just like, you, you have to find that perfect balance. And I know that sounds like a lot and that's not my days all the time, but if you do have a crazy day or if you have a crazy week, make sure to find time to like get lunch with your friends to break it up. Just go lay on your friend's floor and rant. Like it's very important for your mental health and it allows you to kind of continue and be efficient in the long run. My last tip is kind of on that note, plan a day during the weekend or during your week that you can just veg out. I'm not saying all day because personally for me, I if I have a whole day of doing nothing, like I, I don't even enjoy it. But like this weekend, I gave myself Sunday to like really chill out and it was really good because it was like a good restart for the week, like Sunday morning to like four o'clock. I just kind of chilled out and then I made myself dinner and then I got back after it and I went to the student center and got homework done that night. It's just find a time and if you have to plan it, that's okay, but that you know you're gonna be lazy and so you can kind of look forward to it. So those are my tips on how to manage stress in college and how to work efficiently. I really hope this was beneficial for you guys um, because I don't know, like I know how stressful college can get. 
we're all in there. We're all in this together, High School Musical. Again, check out 5 Hour Tea if you want. Um, I think it's a great product to check out, and I will again have it linked down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 5 Hour Tea for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.